Reporting from Yuli, I'm Emily Nerland with Derek Henry for UGASports.com, where Yuli just came back. Victory, 36-35. What's going through your mind as you guys get that touchdown in the end and it gets called back on an illegal formation and you guys have to set back up with less than a minute left to try and win this game? I just keep faith in God, you know what I'm saying? We had time on the clock. I, I, I was watching the clock, you know what I'm saying? I seen we, we got the penalty, but I still had faith in my teammates that we were answer and we did, so I was thankful for that. One of the answers was to go for the win instead of the tie. Can you talk me through that decision and what you, as a leader on this team, feel like getting the ball in your hands for that opportunity? You know I'm saying I want the ball in my hands. I'm a leader for this team. We playing since freshman year, and every time coach calls my name, I, I want to answer it and get get our team to victory. You know what I'm saying I've been in a situation before. Last week we were down uh, with West Nassau, 35-34, uh, and I got the two-minute conversion. And we're in the same situation. So coach knew what to do and give me the ball, and then I got it in. And it's not just any school, it's Trinity Christian. So what does that mean to you? When I was talking to you earlier in the week, you were saying what a big game this is. What does it mean for your team to get this win? You know what I'm saying? We've been, I've been talking to them all week. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to go to state, big expectations. It's 2010 uh, state champions, Trinity Christian. I told them this is going to be a championship football game. So we're in tight. You know what I'm saying? We're down. we got to keep on fighting and have faith that we can come back and win. And we, we did. I saw some of that intensity in you on the sideline. You were kind of yelling at your guys on a missed coverage. Have you stepped up as kind of a leader to try and egg on your team to really push them to be the best they can be? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Coach, always keep that in me. Tell them to keep them up, keep them fired up, and let them know that it's going to be all right. And just keep them motivated and let them know what they're doing so they can correct it. You know what I'm saying? Every time I do it, they answer to me. So, you know what I'm saying? I just thank God and my teammates, you know what I'm saying? They believe in me, you know what I'm saying? They follow my lead. Thank you. And what does it mean to you? Coach McLennan was able to be here there in Jacksonville, so he's oh. come, coming to see you. What does it mean to get to perform, him, get 260 yards, three touchdowns? What does that mean to get to do that in front of McClendon? I mean, I, mean I, I had to do it, you know what I'm saying? That's for the Georgia tomorrow, I had to give Coach some faith that I, let Isaiah know that I took on, so tomorrow is his, his job. And you've been watching Isaiah a lot. What can you say about what you've seen him doing out there? You've been putting the yards, high school he's been doing in college. What can you say about him? Man, I've been watching him since he was in high school, playing against Buford, how he runs, he's so physical. And coming in his freshman year, having the same impact Marcus Lattimore had. You know what I'm saying? That run he made against Mississippi State. I said, I knew he was special, but when I seen that, I was like, oh, God, yeah, Georgia's back rolling. I hope I can get in there and just help him out. How do you think you work in that rotation? I think I look good, you know what I'm saying? He's a, he's a power, you know, he's a every down back, and I feel like I'm every down back. And I can just help him out. He pound and I pound. So John Theus was trying to be here tonight. He couldn't be. He was telling, saying that you're going beast mode. What are your relationships like with the other recruits and commits in this class? Uh, Bryce Ramsey, that's my good friend. John Theus, that's like my best friend. As we committed over the summer, when we were getting close, I came to his house. We spent time together and we talked all the time. And you know what I'm saying, I, I, he wasn't here, but I had him in my presence. I, I hear his voice, bro. Keep on going, bro. Keep on going. So mm -hmm. I knew he wanted to be here, but you know, so that's my best friend. So I just, but, yeah. And are there any non-commits that you've been getting on trying to get to come with you? So you're surrounded by the best. Uh, well, not really. I've been I've been trying to talk to some guys. Uh, Laramie Tunzel trying to get him here because he we, we went to uh, Oregon together at the uh, the uh, high school. I'm saying the top 50 athletes in Oregon for the uh, opening. I've been talking to him, but I'm trying to get a Trey Matthews to commit. You know, saying I heard, I heard he's a real good MF player. But I haven't talked to him yet. I'm trying to get in touch with him. So make sure he's still on the line. So keep keep it keep, keep it rolling. Great. Well, thank you so much thank you. for Derek Henry and Emily Nerland. Check out UGA Sports.com for more.